Hello, Patrick Walchuk here, and today I want to talk to you about why real estate may not be a good investment for you. Now, I'm doing this video because typically I would see about 12 or 13 people or groups of people per year who wanted a consultation about whether they should invest in real estate. Of those 12 people, typically only one of them actually pulls the trigger and the other 11 or 12 never ever invest in real estate. So here's something that may help you think about it. So let's get started. We've got 12 reasons not to invest in real estate. So it's not a liquid asset. It's not something you can get rid of very quickly if you want the cash out of it. It can take months to live your building to sell it and then close uh, and it's much easier if you want to use an investment that's more liquid if you buy something like stocks preferreds uh, exchange traded funds they can be sold literally in minutes okay move on here to point number two and when you buy real estate it ties up a huge amount of your cash so for example right now in Ottawa it's actually costing a little bit over a million dollars if you're going to buy a small building like a two to four unit building and if you want it to cash flow positive you need a 40% down payment. So 40% of your million dollar purchase is $400,000. And when you buy real estate, you've got closing costs, things like land transfer tax, legal fees, that kind of thing. So that's about 1.75% of the value of the property. So in this case, it's about $17,500. So your total all in purchase here is going to be 417,000 and change. And all that money is being tied up in the purchase, okay? Now, landlords, um, you have the situation with having to deal with tenants who haven't paid their rent, okay? I don't need to expand on that one. Next, um, if that tenant doesn't pay their rent and you want to evict them, right now it's taking anywhere from four to eight months to evict a tenant. Lots of stress in dealing with noisy tenants or tenants that are in conflict with each other. This is a personal business. It's not like you're buying a stock or a bond. You're dealing with real people here. Now, um, some months you have no revenue, so you could have a vacancy due to damages caused by the tenant, or you have a vacancy because you want to make some repairs. Maybe you want to put in a new kitchen so that you can rent the unit out for more. Now, can you afford to have that unit vacant for one month? Remember, one month is 8% of the year. If you lose one month to vacancy, you've lost 8% of your revenue. Let's move on. Revolving door. You can have a high turnover of tenants, especially in times of high vacancy rates. When there are high vacancy rates, tenants will shop around because another landlord is offering one month's rent free if you sign with me, that kind of thing. Do your due diligence. Learn how to screen tenants. You need to follow up with their previous landlord to see what kind of a tenant they were and do credit checks. Now, you need to know the Landlord-Tenant Act. You need to know the laws governing landlords and tenants. So, uh, as I mentioned, the Landlord-Tenant Act and the uh, Rental Tribunal Board, which you may have to go to, and you know have to know how to read a lease. And then there's N forms that are required for different aspects of the rental process. So, in terms of... Um, uh, maintenance on a property that's an ongoing thing you want to take care of your asset so you do want to maintain it as well as you possibly can number 11 devils in the details you need to be organized and have separate accounting from your own personal accounting and you might need a bookkeeper extra fees so you need to be organized to pull all those financials together and finally you have to do many different things and it can be personally time consuming to maintain, repair the property, you have to show it to tenants, you have to mediate disputes, you have to perform bookkeeping, maybe accounting issues. So if these things are not pleasant to you or they're not part of your makeup, real estate investing may not be for you.